toughest, really the toughest part of the managing. Is it is it the pitching staff for a manager? Uh, you hear that a lot. Of that's what they say. You know, the toughest for me is uh, dealing with the day to day, the amount of coverage and interviews. Oh yeah, that, I can tell you didn't like those. No, but I think that's the toughest because right. Yeah, uh, you know, and then and then you're critiqued, and if you say one thing wrong the whole year, that's what you're held accountable for. Right. You know, and they're always mean? looking for answers. You don't have that. You know, right. And half the time you're like, come on, man, I don't have to answer that. And you hate to say, I don't know all the time. And 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 the, and the toughest part is that you know, like you're always you're, you're judged by a lot of people that don't even know what they're judging. You know, uh, I mean, some some know, but I mean, you got. Guys are just making up stuff, you know. Guys on the on the tweets and the blogs and the stuff, and it's like there's not enough uh, news to go around for the amount of coverage that's out there, mm -hmm. and uh, you know that's tough. You know, and and also what's tough also is that as a manager, you are the spokesperson for the organization, and everybody thinks that you have the power and authority to make trades to uh, do this and do that when it's really out of your control where, where, I mean, people say, well, don't you have some input? Yeah, you got some input, but the final word is not yours because, you know. We've I mean, talked about the input thing before. How right, it and, and that's you know. the toughest part, and the toughest part. See, you know, I remember before the manager, you know, had more say-so on on his personnel. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember Thomas Sorda, man, he picked like six infielders. And you're going to play center, you're going to do this and that. He's picking athletes because if you're held accountable for what you do, you want to be held accountable for the people that you believe in that's supposed to be doing what you, for you. And that's the thing. It's like, and the money's gotten so big that a lot of times, you know, uh, you know you're forced to play, not forced, but you're, Coerced to play this kid because they gave him two million dollars and no one draft choice. It's not your lineup; it's somebody else's lineup. Yeah, and, and a lot of it depends on how much money that they have invested in this kid. Yeah. Right, and, and and investments play, and people want to return on their on their investments, and it's gotten almost to the point where 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 being a veteran guy has been in the game a long time, that that sometimes you have to feel that you're not even. You know your input's not wanted as much as as much as the knowledge and expertise that you well, should, should have. You know what I mean? Yeah, of and it's got. like and it's like, hey, no, no, no. I know stats. that's how you used to do it, and then the stats become so prevalent, which I which I which I like stats too. But you got to use the human element in, in my eyes and the who I think can play and you know the potential growth of a person and and we all want it like right now. We want a finished product right now, and we want a Hall of Famer right now. And if and if that was the case, Larry Boa hit under 200 his first year. Ozzy Smith hit 200. I mean, he wouldn't be in the Hall of Fame. He never got the opportunity. Mike Smith hit 196, you know, his first year. These guys would have never gotten an opportunity to grow because of the need to win today. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, nobody wants to hear about tomorrow or what a guy's going to do later. And sometimes everybody does, uh, doesn't arrive at the same point at the same time. You know, some guys get it right away, which is very few, and some guys get it later, and some guys get it even later than most guys. Yeah. But the key is, is you know, is to get it, and I just wish that sometimes, you know, we were allowed a little more tolerance uh, to yeah. let the players play them out.